Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Post Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it really is important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. So if you do have any questions, you would like to contact me, maybe for a question, maybe for a reading, um, please do contact me. You can find all of my information right below into the YouTube description box. So you can find um, a list of readings, contact, everything is there. So please uh, do not hesitate. It will be my great pleasure to assist you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always greatly appreciated and I do thank you in advance. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading. I have three messages here for you from the universe. The universe has some very special messages for you. These are messages for your soul. Your soul, of course, being the creator. So these are messages for you and your creation. So let's begin. We have your past supports your future. We have the now, and we're going to conclude with you need to rise. So let's start this off with your past supports your future. Now, the essential meaning coming from this message from the universe is that it's your ability to draw on past experiences. It's that toolkit of knowledge that you have collected. It is simply a time for you to enjoy the work that you've done. Things that are coming to fruition intentionally, weaving the future, justice and karma, finally getting what you deserve. So the self-care message coming from the universe would be more in the order of the need to work through negative energy that was kind of sewn into the past. It's a chance to integrate life's lessons. It's that opportunity to choose a different future. It's a tendency to coast to coast, it's the time to break free of outgrown habits or even negative patterns. So this is about injustices that need balancing. It's a chance for you to do the right thing. Now let me explain a little bit better. So your life today was created by your thoughts, by your actions, by your past. And this message is reminding you that every single experience that you've had, Every step that you've taken and every intention that you have set has become a note of wisdom on the lattice of your life. And in this way, there is no better way to improve tomorrow's um, trajectory, if you will, than to work on the today. So as you weave your web okay, of your life, you need to take the time to include your patience, honesty, diligence, and faith. And if you find yourself um, circling through repeated patterns all the time, you need to remember that today's sticky energy, well, it just may be something that was woven into the past and that this lesson is only a temporary one. So as you cycle upward, your web is going to become stronger, it's going to become more stable, and every lesson learned is one more strand of support that can be counted on, but at a later date. So there is fairness here, there's balance, there's based on merit, there's loyalty, steady progress. You are being given that chance to do the right thing and to open your heart. Open your heart to what? To the beautiful law of cause and effect. Go ahead, take advantage of this karmic moment and use your actions to craft your future according to your plan. Now, try and figure out how does your next cycle begin? And what did you do into the past that created your reality today? And what can you do today to weave the fabric of your reality of love and success and the pattern of this reality? Maybe you need to tie off old patterns. Maybe you need to nurture relationships, project their ideas. Ask yourself those questions. Following up now with the, the now. So let's speak about the now over here. So uh, the essential meaning come from the universe with the now is about being in the right place at the right time. It's about that divine timing. It's a sense of time that is just speeding up as you move on forward and towards your dream. It's a reminder that time is simply on your side. 
Now, the self-care message would be more in the order of feeling a feeling of urgency, of frustration, and patience. You need to be careful for all of those type of feelings. A sense that things are moving slowly. It's a time for you to pay more attention to the present and to leave the past and the future in the hands of the divine timing. It's a need to trust that you are where you're supposed to be right now and it's time for you to enjoy the now. It's a need to trust that you haven't missed your moment. Now, time, it's always on your side. And the universe has brought you right here, right now. So be here now. Nothing else is tangible. You cannot change a past and you can only change your future by making the changes today. So your now is always the only moment when you can actively inspire that change. So please go ahead, hunker down, take that moment, enjoy, enjoy the moment. Notice the wonderful life that you have already started creating and trust yourself. Trust that you have all of the time that you need. Okay. Um, and when you stop seeing time as something to, to work against, you're going to see that change is going to start to happen, but in the blink of an eye. Things, they're going to shift just quickly when you're aligned with the divine. Your miracles, they're going to flow into your life, but in perfect arrangement. So you need to begin to act in a way that shows trust in its arrival. So bathe your present day into the experience of your success instead of looking to the far off future, okay, to finally realize your dream. Let's be in the right here, right now. Now, whenever you receive this message by the universe, I have to say, because it is a card stating that this is about being into the now, the universe is trying to tell you to indicate that there is an imbalance. Okay, so you do need to balance things off a little bit here with your timing. Moving on forward now to your final message, and your final message is about rising. So this is about being ready to rise, to rebirth, to have those second chances, those redos, those new opportunities. It's stepping up to your potential. It's those um, announcements. Now, what you have to be careful about is the endings. It's the need for acceptance, the need, it's that that defeat before the rebirth, it's knowing when it's time to stop. It's a time to implement changes before you can rise again. Now, you are ready and you feel it in your soul and in your heart. You know you are ready to step up, to unveil your brilliance and to run across that field, shouting your dream to the world. You need to reach out. You need to reveal a piece of your plan. You need to share a part of your magic. You need to think big at this time. You're going higher. You're rising higher than ever before. So you are going to need a grander entrance. Give yourself permission to open to to openly pursue that giant, that goal that you have. And as you let it loose and you try it on for that size, you're going to untether your potential beyond anything that you can fathom. So start to ask, why not me? And realize that this is your turn to rise. And if something is coming to a halt, or if you have recently suffered an unpleasant blow to your momentum, well, this message by the universe... It's illuminating a time for a second chance for you. You're being gifted a redo with all of the rebirth energy. So at this time, you get to decide just how far you're going to fly. Take a moment, regroup, and implement any changes that are needed. And then open up your wings and rise. And this does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it brought you some interesting messages. If you do have any questions and you would like to contact me, please do so. All of my information is right below into the YouTube description box. If you have not yet subscribed, please do click the subscribe button and have yourself a beautiful day. Thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.